Buongiorno, I'm Briella Tomasetti, and you're watching Grown Up Italian. Grown Up Italian. Growing Up Italian. Growing Up Italian podcast. Growing Up Italian. 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 Growing Up Italian podcast. Growing Up Italian. Growing Up Italian. Growing Up Italian podcast. Growing Up Italian. Woo! But, but being an island girl, your family was like, okay, just... I'm an island girl. You're so far from yeah. Long Island now, you know? <laughs> That's okay. That's I need okay. my space. Yeah. I need <laughs> my <laughs> space, bro. That's so true. <laughs> was it, like, rough when you moved out? When I moved out... Well, I went to college in Delaware, so that was the first step because uh, I was... So that's when you ripped the Band-Aid off? Yeah. That'll do it. I was the oldest. Yeah. Me, my sister, my brother. Now, me and my brother are 10 years apart. Me and my sister are, like, three and a half. Okay. So I'm... I just turned 30, so I was out of the house at, like, 18. And then my mom's still stuck with my brother there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's usually how it goes for the men. Is he a mama's boy? Oh, yeah. Yeah? My mom goes in this room. There's, like, shit under the bed. And he's just, there's still a chicken cutlet in here from last night. Oh, like. my God. <laughs> <laughs> I never understood the eating in the room. I wouldn't be able to do that. Like, I was never allowed to do that. Yeah? Like, eating in your bedroom? You do that? Late night, late night. Cereal. The problem yeah? is when, you're, when yeah. you're the last in the bed? and you're... you're the boy that's going to carry on my grandfather's name, anything goes. He's the golden child. She's like, that's it. I'm not doing it anymore. I'm not cleaning up after you. I'm done. This is it. I'm like, but if you do sneak in there in the middle of the night and tippy toe and continue to pick up and fold the sheets and clean up the clothes on the floor, then the cycle is going to continue. Right. <laughs> so you broke the cycle by going away. Or you the only one that went away? Or, you, or your sister went away too, right? No, she went to St. John's. Oh, okay. And now she's in Miami. But years later, she moved. I always wish I went away. I feel like I would have learned how to do more things. It's <laughs> Like <weird>. laundry. <laughs> now no? I think I'm like, how did I do four and a half years in like Newark, Delaware? It was boring? Popul I mean, it was fun. It was college. But it just wasn't New York. I would come right. home on the weekend just to eat, you know, for my mom to cook for me. And we had a lot of food on our main street. And, you know, you can pop around. You can get sushi, bar food, beer. But it wasn't like being at home. And that's what I was used to. Did they have, did they have Italian spots in Delaware? Yeah. They had a, they had something called Grotto Pizza. Oh yeah, they did. Grotto, Grotto, like the cave, like no, cave? no, no. Well, that's what it's that's probably what a last Grotto name. Grotto is, probably but a last it's name. the namesake Grotto yeah. Pizza. It's a chain in Delaware. Mm. So it was like I wish I could pull up a picture. Give me of a comparison. It. What's like like Little Caesars or something like that? Not even. They had like painted on sauce in lines. Oh god, sauce, it's like a lunchable sauce, cheese. Yeah, and sounds, yeah. people that, would eat. Sounds there. like a great time. It's disgusting. It was. <laughs> it's like drunk horrible. food. Yeah. I would be better off just making making my own sauce in my apartment. My friends would come over and we'd, we'd eat. And I'm not a big, you know, I'm not my mom, yeah. but I can make a sauce. You ever <laughs> see those trendy videos on, uh, on like, tic on, especially on TikTok, you'll see it, but it's like cooking in my dorm room and it, like oh, the kid yeah, makes yeah. like ham stuffing in his dorm room? I don't know how they do that. They have like these crazy contraptions and they're putting yeah. it like under their uh, bunk beds. Yeah. Then wait, there was a video I saw. I don't remember. I think they were selling pasta. Or these two guys oh, yes, that were selling pasta yes. out of their dorm that. room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a hit. Cooked like, pasta. Cooked yeah. plates of pasta? They, they like, like, in the sauce? Yeah. Like, I got yeah. the tortellini for $8. Yeah, like yeah, that. literally. Yeah. Why are you okay. saying, are you going to eat that? $8, $8 tortellini from where? It depends. Someone made a nice sauce with it? Oh, yeah, yeah. Who is yeah, it? Is that Jimmy Big Muscles? No, no, no. I feel like Jimmy would do that. He would. He definitely would. We have a friend from Pittsburgh, and he's always, like, cooking in his dorm room. He plays lacrosse. He's still in his in his college years, or no? Or he, he might was. have graduated now. Graduated. Was it yeah, like a long term? Like he he made a lot of content with us, and uh, like a big a part of his content was <laughs> cooking Italian food in his dorm. So he okay. make brajol, <laughs> brajol heroes. Did he did he sell it though? Probably, he, I think people offered, but he wouldn't charge because people. That's a nice a good little kid. hustle. Not even a. I mean, I was working at like the Hilton. I have a funny college story. I worked for, for like sure. a couple weeks at Buffalo Wild Wings. I went in the back half the time, like they're tossing the chicken up. It's not cooked. And no, like I love Buffalo Wild Wings, no shade to them. Mm -hmm. But I was a hostess. They wouldn't let me bartend because there you have to be 21. I was 19. And then you've got to. But you could it. serve alcohol at 18. I mean, New York. Here in New York, there you can. Oh, okay. okay. So I was like. The like, things you learn. I would be a great bartender. I have boobs. I do my makeup. Like, <laughs> this would be wonderful. But no, I can only hostess. Fine. There you do some of the busing. You get a little bit of the tip, the tip out. So one day this customer comes in obliterated, wasted. They keep serving him. And I, it's like 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock. I don't know when they close at one. So I'm sitting there and I was still shadowing another hostess. 
And all of a sudden, we hear a noise. The guy throws up all over his table. The manager comes out and looks at us and goes, that's your job. I look at the girl, are you fucking kidding me? What do you mean? My job? I'm a hostess. I didn't sign up. Get a janitor. Mm -hmm. She goes, well, it's just, you know, let's go in and do it. I said, you can go in the bathroom. You do whatever you want. I'm not, I did not sign up to clean vomit. The girl goes in, cleans, comes back out with like this face of dread. Like she does it every night. I'm like, this is crazy. They keep serving the guy. He pukes again. Why would they keep serving him? <laughs> I, this is Delaware. Hey, clean, Delaware. Hey, clean up, but bring it back out. <laughs> so I said, in all due respect, I'm see out. you later. I'm out. Absolutely not. And yeah. that's what you go through in college with the, those jobs. I, I think wish we the guy went would to see St. me Francis, now. Right? Yeah, right? Yeah. So I went to St. Francis College. I know he did too. But that was like going to high school plus. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, literally. Where'd it's you go to high school? Plain Edge. Plain Edge, Long Island. Uh Small little district in Nassau County. It's made up of like four other districts. So Massapequa, Bethpage, Farmingdale, Seaford, all kind of smacked together the scraps. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Graduating class was small, maybe like 200 of us. I don't know. That's not that small. Yeah, but compared to the other the yeah, districts, like Massapequa, thousands, Farmingdale, yeah. yeah, you're like a, yeah. a thousand people. Well, what I noticed more recently about those neighborhoods uh-huh. is there, there's a lot of Italians moving that area now was it like that growing up where there it was like Massapequa they called it matzo pizza Jewish Italian yeah, yeah, yeah. Matzo pizza. I've never heard mm-hmm. of that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. so a lot of my friends were you know they had Italian one side of the family was Italian the other's Jewish but they got the you know everything they got Hanukkah they got Christmas they got off all the other holidays yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, this is great <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of jealous <laughs> of them yeah, yeah. matzo pizza matzo pizza That's you never, you never cool heard of that going, no we say we say pizza bagel a lot yeah we say pizza bagel pizza bagel or pizza rolls which one Pizza bagel. Oh, pizza bagel bagels? superior. Oh, to yeah. eat? You're See, and I actually will eat those because those are those yeah. are good fake Italian snacks. Pizza bagel, I would pizza have. Pizza bagels? Not roll, though. I don't know if I could publicly admit that. I feel like we would get destroyed for yeah. that. That's all right, bro. Like, imagine they're if going, I knew these guys were an Italian. <laughs> <laughs> they eat pizza bagels. Shout yeah, out pizza to Totino. Pizza bagel another word for an Italian <laughs> Jewish person. Yeah. Pizza oh, a pizza bagel. Yeah, yeah. I didn't think yeah. about that. I didn't put Instead two of matzo pizza. I'm just thinking of the pizza rolls still. You know when you, you bite into it and they're too hot in the microwave? Yeah, that's the worst. And your tongue is scalding yeah. for like three weeks. Yeah, that's the worst. <laughs> oh God, right before hospital. we started filming, <laughs> I want to just shed some light on this. Oh, I'm scared. You said you were born in Bayside, Queens. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, so I, I don't admit I'm a Long Islander. Yes. <laughs> so I want to I want to put that, especially with Queens and Brooklyn people, if they were even like... <laughs> Any, any part of the family tree comes from Brooklyn. They're never from Long Island yeah. or anywhere else but Brooklyn or Queens. Do you know Queens. what it took for my mother to get my dad out there? <laughs> he wanted to stay and as you know, oh, we can live upstairs for my mother in Mill Basin. <laughs> it's going to be beautiful. She gets pregnant with me. You know, they're engaged. Shit, this happened yeah. before we expected it. This is great. My mom will cook for us. This is going to be amazing. So your and dad was like, a mama's boy too? Oh, of course. But yeah. it was more like, you know, they came off the boat from Italy, Abruzzese, right. and she'd kind of like, not kick him out, but like, see you later. Very independent. Raised just walking around Brooklyn doing his thing. Come home at night. Nobody asked questions. Right. Like that. So the first time my mom came there with her big hair and she was like, she was the, the clubs, Queens girl. He was the Brooklyn boy. She was a Long Island girl. They met at what was it, Turquoise in Brooklyn okay. back in the day. So I wait, this is funny. They got married and settled in the middle. Like, all right, we'll go to Bayside. Yes, you know? we'll go to not Bayside. Too far from my yeah, yeah, family, yeah. Not too far but from But of North. course, the woman always wins. Yeah, so. happy wife, happy life. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and my my dad's parents, you know, they weren't really about raising a grandchild yet. They barely speak English. Yeah. So spoke, speak. Am I good? Yeah, it's good so what happens when I don't have any wine before the podcast? <laughs> it's dry January. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> so they finally settled, and my mom's parents were in North Massapequa. So my mom said, "Listen, I need the help." If I'm going to go back to work, which she didn't, and if you're going to be working, works on the railroad, uh, we need we need some help raising the kid. So they settled. Eventually, we did uh, we did three and a half years in Bayside, and then went to Massapequa, and we're a few blocks blocks away from my uh, grandparents. Gotcha, makes yeah. sense. So you're second generation, first, oh, first she's first because her dad yeah, was yeah. father was born, born in Italy. Mm-hmm. Have you right away, right away, we got we got to measure people up like. So, how Italian are you? How Italian are you? <laughs> no, no, we're not like I mean, that. Like no, but this goes. is a growing up Italian show. And I do want to say, we have a, a bunch of more female guests coming up. Oh. Because, you know, people, they 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 said it and we listened. So we are going to do more. That was the with, input you got? So you're the, you're the first oh one. Oh my gosh, really? Yeah. No, like not first the first female. female. No, 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 no. No, she's not. 2024. 2024. All right, first of 2024, but... We have like 
four or five female guests yeah, yeah, yeah. on the schedule. It's fine. I, I canceled on you guys what four yeah, times. You, she almost canceled on us today. It would have been <laughs> no, the first no, no. I was like, I got to keep my word. Yeah, but yeah. the first thing she said, I had so much traffic. I can't believe you I guys like this. come here. You get in the car. I mean, you think, all right, yeah, twenty three minutes to Williamsburg from the east side of Manhattan. It's fine. Driver shows up around the block. I'm like, well, I, I can't walk there. It's cold. You have to come here. Which on a normal day, I could have walked. I was just not in the mood. <laughs> then we get stuck on the Queensboro Bridge. The construction guy is there. I know they can't do this in the middle of the night. Like the guy puts out the thing. You oh, work, it's New York City. You know. That's when you're like working too, because. Yeah. So, I have questions about this graveyard shift life. <laughs> because for those you don't know, my eyes are designer. <laughs> you're you're a news reporter, uh-huh. right? And you work the. Is it called the graveyard shift? Like, I know you work like... At- I guess, you know, a graveyard shift, I feel like would be like 11 p.m. to 7 a.m. Uh-huh. I'm 2.30 a.m. So if I go to bed like 8, 9, I'm still getting my four and a half, five hours of sleep. But it's still a wacky schedule. Yeah. For sure. Make it work. You do things during the day. Like if I had a real, you know, daytime job, I wouldn't be eating prosciutto with you guys. <laughs> <laughs> but- fair enough. Fair enough. No, because like what I'm curious about is like we spoke, we were speaking earlier this morning and you're like, okay, I just finished work. I'm going to go to sleep. And then so I'm like, she's sleeping two hours and then doing my... And it's and hard. Then- Sometimes, like, if I know I have something coming up, I'm so hardwired to think of my, I'm going to sleep through my alarm or it's not going to go off. So I pretended to cat nap, but I'm like, I got to be there. I got to be there. Yeah, you get too... Yeah, yeah, yeah. You really couldn't nap. I tried, but my mind was full of, you know, like, I got to do this. I got to get groceries. Oh, my God, I just got paid. What do I have to do today? What bills have to... So it's just constantly So we ruined running. your day, pretty much. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> kinda, uh, just the, just the ride here. Just the ride here. I told you, you got stuck on the bridge, and after that, there's a drawbridge, too, that goes up in the middle of winter. Cascasso? Yeah, uh-huh. yeah probably. Yeah, yeah, on the Greenpoint, Greenpoint yeah. Avenue. Yeah, Pulaski, yeah, yeah. Pulaski Bridge. Yeah. I'm like... Yeah, the Pulaski, there you go. I guess they have like uh, the NYPD oh, so you had boats, the everything. Perfect today. Perfect, you, you fabulous. I'm like, it's it's one. one, and you know what? I was like, if we move this back to three, I'm gonna get screwed on the latter end. Yeah. Because then I'm gonna be going home during rush hour. So yeah. I'm like, this is good. Yeah. So after this, you're taking a na- a real your real I, sleep. No, I think I'm gonna go home. I'll do my workout. I'll clean up, put sheets on my bed that have been sitting there out of the wash for like three days. <laughs> it's, it's rough. <laughs> so, well, you you don't have any sheets on your bed no. right now. Or are we just talking about this on John's podcast? Yeah, I feel like that's like a guy thing to say, but you know when you wash them, you're just so lazy, and I'm just like, yeah, I just get just like the blanket. There. They just stay there for a little bit. No, it's crazy. They're, they're like the making me on this podcast we were just on the other day. They made me promise that I would make my bed every day. Did you? Did you? I start? could never sleep without sheets. Did you that's crazy. See, there was like an article that said that making your bed in the morning makes you more successful. Yeah, that's what that's what we were. But doing. I also heard if you don't make your bed, you sleep better. Probably. So what the hell is it nowadays? There's an article for everything. Yeah, I know. You know I what I mean? Like, what do you? Who's testing I, these I, Exactly. Is there a person that goes in there and is paid? Well, they have those people. It's like, oh, get paid for these sleep trials. Yeah. Like, Great. But then, knowing I was under a sleep trial, I don't think I would sleep. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, yeah. You'd be like, oh, no, I'm not doing it good. Like, yeah. So, so <laughs> you literally sleep on a Brillo pad, though. <laughs> no, I've got like the, the mattress, mattress cover. I got it yeah. hooked up. My mom doesn't let me, you know, she's in that apartment cleaning. She doesn't yeah. come to the city a lot, but when she does, my sister was in town last week for Christmas and they came in in between, they went to see the tree and all of that stuff and they came in, we went out uh, to eat. I know, I'm like, why? I'm not going near Rock Center. Don't even ask me. I do it every day for work. Yeah. But uh, they come in, I hear like, tup, 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 like there's a mouse in the kitchen oh, God. and she's like moving things, pictures on the wall and my sister's like, what are you doing? I'm just making it look nice in here. <laughs> Clearly, I don't, I don't do a good job. <laughs> you get scared of mice? Cause I saw a video I, on your Instagram that I did have a one. rat a rat ran by your foot too or something. Oh my god! Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, when I was I out think reporting I the one. other day, I was reporting. Yeah. Oh my god! Um, Can you imagine when, I'm, when they're outside and they're like in their territory and I'm in front of the microphone doing my thing? It's yeah. like, okay, now if they take my live shot and I see it in my peripheral, then I start to bug out and forget what I'm talking about. Right. I mean that makes now, sense. Now this last year, this is the worst because it was. Dry January, and I tried to make it. This is like the second year I'm Wait, doing isn't it. this the first year of dry January? That I'm doing it? No, of no, history. Of I've history. never heard of it. I've never heard, heard of it. the first time also yeah. this year. It's so, and it's so annoying because every girl goes out and they're like, <laughs> I can't drink. <laughs> <laughs> what about like the 12 grapes under the table? That's the first time. Did you hear about the 12 no. grapes? What's that? If you're single, it, it's a Spanish tradition. Apparently, it's good It's it's good luck towards your love life what? for the upcoming year. Yeah. Nick was eating table. so many so grapes this year. A lot of grapes. The birds shitting on your head. I have a horrible love life, so it's bullshit. <laughs> no, but that's the know. two viral things on yeah. uh, 
the internet the last week. I'm pretty sure j- dry January came around the same time as like no shave November. Yeah, That's it's like it's like a fad. So it's like people fake, can post about it and be like, look at my mocktail. <laughs> but what's a mocktail? It, it's like a drink that tastes like a drink that's not a drink. So a, a lot non-alcoholic of non-alcoholic cocktail. Oh, yeah, yeah sugar you could have just said non-alcoholic. <laughs> Why? I just what's the point? That's what people are like. Would you like a mocktail? Why would I'm not going to lie. Dollars for a drink? I'll have a ginger ale. Yeah, 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 yeah. I actually do that a lot, though. Yeah. Yeah, because I don't like to drink, and it's not that I'm like an alcoholic or anything, but people, when you don't like to drink, and then you're in like a social setting, and you're just like, oh no, I don't want to drink. People think like that I'm recovering yeah. or something, and I'm just like, don't like I it. Just don't yeah. feel. So like what I'll do today. sometimes is just get like club soda, lime. Yeah, 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 that's, that's what that. I do too. We you live. Really? We live. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. I think it's just. I don't feel like in, like I don't feel like drinking sometimes. So I just have a chill night where I act like I am. So everybody, I don't kill the vibe. Yeah, of it's like else. you said though, it's a social thing. Yeah. So you yeah. go to a bar, you're like, I have to get a drink. I go to dinner, I have to get a glass of wine. Like right. I don't, but I would like to. <laughs> <laughs> like but sometimes wait, I'll I... whisper in a bartender's ear, like, "Can you give me a drink?" Just put close to <laughs> a tough guy. And then, like it's twenty. <laughs> yeah. then if there's like six people, it's like so Yo, much we pressure. Getting turned, boy. <laughs> And then all of a sudden the shots come out. No, 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 no. Can I get back to the mouse story? Because this yeah. intertwines with it. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. so this is like last year, the first year. I'm like, I'm going to go a month without drinking. I already don't sleep well at night because I'm trying to get myself to bed at 7, 8 o'clock. So I hear, you know, like when I said my mom was in the kitchen and you hear like the... Mm-hmm. And I'm like, what the heck is going on? So one night I heard it. I think this was before Jan- dry January, whatever. I fell back asleep. It was a weekend. So normal sleeping schedule. I'm like, I don't know. Somebody's being really loud in the hallway. Then I heard it again on a weeknight as I was getting up for work, one, two in the morning. Now, you know these things are nocturnal. I'm putting two and two together, and I'm like, that's a mouse in my kitchen. There's a, there's a rodent in there. So I'm like getting out. up. Yeah, and I've, I've heard people deal with this. I had a couple of roaches in my last apartment. It's the city. It happens, but a mouse? So I start walking, and I have, like, I have carpet in this apartment, so this little guy can't hear me. I go to the kitchen, and I, I don't turn on a light. I don't make a move because I want to see him. I don't want to startle him. I took one more step and I just saw the tail. I jumped. I ran out of the apartment. I called my job. I was like, I'm going to be an hour late. I don't know what to do. There's a thing in my kitchen. They're like, what What thing? A mouse. Like, <laughs> my heart was <laughs> like yeah. this. It's scary, it's scary honestly. You <laughs> would think terrifying. like it's Godzilla, but I'm but, the same way. Honestly. But see, there's no mice in Long Island. Yeah, they're all over. They do construction around not, not like whenever. that. Yeah, not like there that, are. though. Uh-huh. Not they like did the construction city. around the block at the high school. That's like my parents live around the block from the high school. They were in everyone's yards, uh, burrowing, basements. I'll make sure to not move to a high school. Next like, to I'm high nervous school. now <laughs> just talking about away. it. <laughs> Wait, so how'd you handle that? I called my super in there like four times a day. He's like, there's nothing in here. So I had to find the source. Yeah. I'm looking around in the cabinet. Sure enough, the previous owner was like 90 years old. She never was in there. Yeah. Was it like, or something? He had a tear or something. They were in Florida a lot. So great. It was in great condition. That's why I bought it. Um... But I looked in the cabinets and I saw a gaping hole in the back where the, you know, behind the sink. Mm -hmm. I said, this is where he's coming in. There were a couple of droppings. No droppings consistent with like an infestation, Mm -hmm. but a couple where this guy had squeezed squeezed in twice. Yeah. A couple (laughs) boom, boom, boom. Bam. bam. Yeah. (laughs) So now all the dishes, everything comes out of every cabinet. They're all over the floor because now they have to be bleached, put in the dishwasher, this, that. Everything has to be wiped, washed. The whole kitchen had to be sanitized. Everything had to be thrown out, like all my pasta, my food. The fridge was okay. He didn't get in there. But anywhere else, I didn't want to take a chance yeah, if I had yeah, open I food. Mm-hmm. So he never came back. Got traps. Then I was scared to get the snapping traps. So you didn't, even get, the, you don't, you didn't, didn't get, get the body. No, nothing. <laughs> That's crazy. I didn't want to hear, that though, this. Paranoia. That's disappointing, actually. Then yeah. I got little, like, uh, no-kill traps where maybe I put a little peanut butter in there. Then I'd maybe find them, say hello to him, bring him outside. No-kill traps is crazy. Why? So you would, would like, let's say a no kill trap. It he gets walks in through there, the little door and he gets stuck. And he's stuck. Yeah. So but then, then I pop in on so him every what'd day. You do? You see, what's up? How him? are you? Yeah. Then you come back in. You wouldn't be scared to do that? <laughs> no, I wouldn't. I just, it's the fright of seeing it. But you would like, you'll t- tickle him if he was in there? <laughs> yeah, I'd wash my hands maybe. Oh, <laughs> next topic. Next topic. No, hold on. I, I feel like I have a good mouth story though. Topolino, right? Topolino. So, like, where I live in Howard Beach, like, I used to live here, and this block with rats is crazy. The construction's crazy. Going home at night, it was like a highway of rats, like, you know, with all the construction. So I would, like, get the keys from the corner, like, jingle the keys, like, <laughs> they got to hear me. But then I moved to Howard Beach, and I'm, like, across the street from the fields. I'm like, 
wow, this is amazing. There's never going to be a mouse. So then they, all of a sudden, one night. That's where the most of them are. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so me, my sister, and my kids, we, I know there's a mouse. I see droppings, you know, like, I'm like, damn, I got a mouse. So I get like this little, these little, uh, not a, po- the traps you said, like, I got poison. Oh, you were um, out to get them. Yeah, I was, I was like, I was out for it. So uh, one night we see it running in my kitchen. Okay. So my sister, like, we put more glue traps. She just puts it in the middle of the room with a blob of peanut butter. I'm like, what do you think? It's the a bear? The peanut butter, they love it. They like peanut <laughs> you got, butter. You got to put it in a corner, though. You don't they put go, it. They go wall to wall. They don't go yeah. in the middle of the room. Do you ever room. watch videos of them? I did my research no, after this. I don't this, at all. And they squeeze through the tiniest little holes. Yeah, yeah they can fit through the size the of a quarter yeah, or like a dime. Food. It's crazy. It's wild. Yeah, yeah next topic. He's like, right, that's it. These so guys are like terrified it. of rodents. Yeah, as well. we're, we're, we are terrified. So Long Island, <laughs> Long Island. Listen, I, I like feel that. like every girl. Take this with no uh-huh. offense. Every girl has like a lashes lady. Oh, here, right? see you go. No, I, I used to. Those things are popping, girl. Like, I, 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 I want to be honest with you, and I don't want you to be offended. I don't want you guys to say like you bring the first girl and like you know you're not being nice, but this, like guys don't. They like, don't like notice, it. They don't notice. They it. don't notice it. They don't like yeah. it. They don't like the lips. I feel like I think it's all just. Too much. It's for girls. Now I'm used to wearing these things because of being in the studio. But I so there's two different things. You have like the the glue on ones you could take mm-hmm. off. So after this, or you have extensions and you go to your lash lady and you do one at a time. You have to sit in that chair like they're doing your nails. One mm-hmm. poke, 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 or do all the eyes. Yeah. But then they'd start to fall off in my bed, and I have one eye that has lashes and one eye I look <laughs> like a Frankenstein, and yeah. I'm like, this is weird. Like this, I don't need these. There's no reason to have them. So then. When I got into TV, the makeup girl put them on me once, and I was like, oh, these are cool. Like, I look like I did my makeup. I didn't have to. So I, Does it mess with your vision? Like, I, I kind of see them. Yeah. yeah if I look say. up like that. You got to lose at least 10% of your vision. <laughs> I put contacts in for the first time the other day, but I had to do it like a real ghetto way because I have a prescri- uh, prescription for glasses. I didn't want contacts ever. I'm like, I don't need them. I'm, uh, I have astigmatism. I'm nearsighted, so I can't see well far away. Well, I fill in at the anchor desk and I'm co-anchoring when there's someone next to me, the, the prompter has to be further back. So now I'm like, I'm going to have to look at this thing. I'm going to mess up all the letters and the numbers. I'm not going to read correctly. So my friend had a similar prescription. I was like, Let's pop, I'll pop these dailies in and see if they work. I had no idea how to put them in. I like poked one eye out. And the second time I got them in, I got through the show with them. But what a difference. Yeah. Well, we didn't know you before, so I'm not really sure. Oh, yeah. But you, you would know. <laughs> I brought my glasses, that would bug I think. Me. That, would nice. bug, that would bug me out to do that, though, I think. Like, See, because you, you never out. had contacts, right? You no, I, I don't really. These are prescription that's, glasses. But that's like a look for you. Yeah, that's why I, I did it, I think. I'm trying to <laughs> no, be that, like, I think. He's like, I know. Char- yeah. Char- no, no, but She's honestly. charmed by my glasses. No, 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 but no. So me and my sister, we both got our glasses at the same time when we were younger. I'm four years older, but. We literally both were like, okay, we're blind. Not blind, <laughs> but like, okay, we need these glasses. From the day she got them, she always wore them. Yeah. Now she's blind as a bat. My whole life, I never wore them. So you wear them when you need to. So now, now not even, but like now I'll, I have like two or three pairs and I wear them when I'm trying to look smart. Oh, you got different pairs? <laughs> yeah. Depends on what you're But these are the ones I'll wear. But is it like what you want to uh, accessorize? Like, oh, I got these pants on. These yeah, glasses like, would look really yeah, good. Yeah, like I got camo, these. so I got to wear, you know, I got fatigue, so I got to wear <laughs> the how you doings. Now, but honestly, the other two, I, I, I think I never really wore them out yet. Because yeah, This is like a new thing. That's cool. My, my original good. glasses that when I got, when my sister got them, I never wore them. Nerd. Yeah, like, <laughs> like the, Arma- the Armani you exchange get, glasses. Get, oh, okay. I was gonna say you get bullied or something. Bro, why but was that a cool. thing though? Like, hey, four eyes. Like, yeah, exactly. I, I Who think cares? That's cool. So, okay. So when I was young, braces they tried pushing did on you, me. Did you get braces? Ever? No, I did Invisalign. Like that, four or five that was years a thing ago. later, though. Yeah, Invisalign wasn't. Yeah. It was. And you, I think that's worse. Could you? You have to take the yeah. My sister. So now, like at night, I don't wear them. My teeth are shifting. Your teeth look good though. Yeah, but they're shifting. Yeah, the sparkle thing, right? <laughs> no, I'm like crazy with my teeth. I'm yeah? like flossing. Did you wear braces? Te- I did. I had to. Did I you get think- made fun of, like brace face? And no, stuff because like everyone in middle school had them. At least in Long Island, it was a thing. Like, oh, I'm going to an orthodontist in sixth grade. I'll get them off by eighth grade. So middle school, then by high school, you got great teeth. I remember the day you get them off, you're like licking your teeth, and you're like, <laughs> like you're looking so for smooth. them. Yeah. But I have like, you know, I'm short, I'm five feet tall. People on TV don't, you know, they don't recognize, they see me in person. And I don't know if it's like a compliment or 
an offhand, backhanded comment. Yeah, I, I get like, that too. Don't worry. Oh, you look kind of tall. Oh, damn, bro, you look taller. I'm like, okay, like continue with the conversation. <laughs> what is it supposed to mean? But um, so I'm like little. So I always had a little mouth. They had to pull four teeth. And the wisdom? They, the wisdom? No, with the molars in the back. Oh, all the way Because my teeth weren't coming in correctly. So they had to pull those and then put in a retainer to make room for the new ones to come in. After that, I got braces. And then after that, I had to wear the retainer again. But let me tell you, you have to listen to what they say. If they say wear the retainer, do the retainer. Because my sister and my brother didn't. The teeth I shifted. Shifted. And yeah. she had to get Invisalign. My brother's teeth looked like shit. At least so the, the bottom row. You gotta like, listen to these doctors. You man. have to. They she know was what like the girl about. from Finding Nemo. Darla? Darla? Darla. Yeah. No, I was, I was like. <laughs> that whole contraption like on the mouth? No. <laughs> yeah, wait, what is that? That's for your jaw, right? Yeah, I don't know. I have no idea what to eat. But it was, no, it was the retainer first and the braces, then they came off. It was one thing at a time. But I only wore it at night. It still did the job. I do gotta bring up something funny that I saw okay. on your Instagram. Uh, that thing is like a roller coaster. I yeah, yeah. Know what I post Honestly, it, you post some funny stuff. Talk to myself. So her mom. They made a Reddit about her mom oh being a my MILF. Oh, my God. What? Yeah. <laughs> so. I didn't see she, that. But she loves her. it secretly. She's like, oh, God, not again. Like, <laughs> you, it's Wait, how compliments many times, that my dad gives you. How many times has it happened? <laughs> so they will, I don't know I don't know who these people are. They'll probably watch this. They'll probably put this I on mean, Reddit. I'm a little curious. Now, let me tell you. Ahead. They will screenshot <laughs> and zoom Are you going to look it up right after? <laughs> I stopped posting like bikini photos because they're zooming in on everything. So I was in literally sitting in my grandmother's like basement apartment a couple of weeks ago. She was, is ailing. I uh, was in the hospital for a little bit. Went to visit. Went to take care of her. I took a picture on the couch. It was Christmas Eve. These people zoom into my gray leggings they're like hot. Like, it's half of my thigh and in a legging. I don't know what you're getting out of that. And me next to my grandmother, unless you want yeah. you want a picture of her. But then... So I, this is a thing. This is, this is a weird, like, fetish. I don't, I don't know. Okay. News but, reporter fetish? Yeah, there's reporter accounts. That's but the things you learn. The, the now they, found, they got so my mom. So what is your mom coming to this? So I don't, I, had a, I don't even know where they got that picture. I think my mom threw me a surprise 30th birthday a couple of weeks ago. I'm December 2nd. So I, I was in Miami. Belated. that. Oh, thank you. Miami that weekend, so I came back and I thought I was just going to dinner. Fresco, you know, Rosanna's restaurant. I don't. <laughs> Shout out to Rosanna. Uh, yeah, so I think that I'm just going there with her and a couple of friends, uh, you know, Christmas time. Ladies are coming in for a city night from Long Island. It's going to be me. I'm like, okay. Went out with me and my mom's friends here. And I get in and Ro pours me a shot and she's like, oh, cheers. I'm like, this is really early to start drinking. I get to the back and... Little do I know, my mom and a bunch of my friends were there. It was really, I never had a surprise party. It's cool. That's it was nice. Cool. It was like I wanted to cry. It the was 30th so nice. is the one to do People it. really care about me. I was like, yeah. oh, I thought I was just kind of here making it through the week. <laughs> making the steps. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Going through the motions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But wait, hold on. Oh, so she, she, that was the outfit she was wearing. So I think they took all my pictures. They're like, Brielle's exclusive surprise party. I'm like, it wasn't exclusive. exclusive. <laughs> anybody, anybody can go to the restaurant. It's, it was just me and some people. And they're like, what did it say, Briella? Riella Tomasetti's milf mother. I, I didn't. I didn't the, actually look I don't at the Reddit what it link. Was called. I just remember when I saw it, like you screenshot it. But there are other pictures we took, like in Tulum. I went there for our wedding, and I had a picture with my mother. And they're like, we can see where she gets it from. Oh my! Wow, God. look at that rack on her mother. I'm like, what? What are you? <laughs> I gotta turn this off. I gotta yeah. stop reading them. Do you tell yeah. your mom these things? Yeah. Oh yeah, we're so close. We're like sisters. Oh, she would. Good. She would have sat next to me. What did she say? You should. You, you should have brought her. I should, right. My brother. We'll like, do a part oh, two. Tell them, we'll do a part two. Yeah. T- yeah. My brother's like, oh, tell them I am um, a Juventus fan. Oh hell yeah! Oh my God! Love your brother. Why would you? Why would you? Want to tell people? Forza Forza Juve. Forza Juve. Are you? It's like tell, that's like telling people. That's like him, like saying, "Tell them I'm a nerd." <laughs> oh, wait, what's your brother's he name? He would have uh, Janine. 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 Now she's like the like American. Oh wait. My my dad is Domenico. My okay. brother's Giovanni Domenico. Okay. My sister's Gianna Umbriella. Okay. So she was like, I don't know what what she. Wait, Giovanni's a Juventus fan, right? Yeah. Giovanni. Giovanni. Uh, he's gonna be so excited. <laughs> he's a big Juve fan. <laughs> No, but, you know, I feel like an old Italian saying, I don't even know if it's an Italian saying, but I've, like, gotten this advice from my older Italian friends. Mm -hmm. When, you know, you're dating a girl, they're like, See if her mother looks good because you know that's you know, what you were telling me. Yeah, I'm it's like, like you see what her mother looks like. Yeah, it's gonna be her in thirty years. Exactly. That's it. She's sharing the podcast. Second yeah. episode. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a you know how to keep your investment safe. You know? <laughs> you want to see if it's volatile or not. 
Yeah, I've, you, I've heard that you, when you guys you go to Italy, you're from like normal sized towns because our town is like, two thousand people. Yeah, mine's like two three thousand one hundred fifty. Yeah, I could tell like when you came in, I could tell you're one of us. Oh and yeah, I, I love. She when goes I get to Italy that. a lot. Yeah, I, I could just. I tell. Really, this is. I get the comment. Wow. I'm really impressed. I saw some pictures from Italy. I'm like, oh, no, no, because you know what it is. I too? impressed somebody. You, you like, know, I don't you know what it is. <laughs> she puts up stories of like music there. Like, yeah. she listens to all the people we we mess with. Were you just there recently? Yeah, I was there in August. No, we hadn't gone back. Uh, when was I there? 2019, I think, before COVID. Yeah, yeah. I took a couple trips in between, but every time I go somewhere else, they they start calling me. You're in Croatia. You're in Greece. You got to stop here. Yeah, I'm yeah. like, what am I gonna do there? No. I wake up to a rooster in the morning. I can like. They closed the grocery store, the one store in town. We have to go down the mountain to Popoli, which is, you know, I'm in uh, Abruzzo. He would know over here. Um, L'Aquila is one of the biggest cities over there. Then you have Pescara, which is on the coast. But the nearest place with a supermarket is a good 20-minute drive, and you've got to get, like, car sick going down the mountain in these turns, like these drag racers. They drive crazy. Yeah, the wild. And I'm like, but... One how, how do I get a Gatorade ways. or something or a water? There's no. Yeah, you go to Abruzzo, all right? That's where you. Right. Yeah, that's, I thought so. What what is like? I I've never been to Abruzzo. You ever been to Abruzzo? No, no. That's good. For people that never been to Abruzzo, what was it? Known I wouldn't for? do like the wine there. It's probably the cheapest wine in all of it. Like, Buchana. Yeah, I mean it's. Yeah, but it's like that's iconic. No? Yeah, I guess I don't know. I John. Wine it is. Wine? I yeah. think it's shit wine. <laughs> uh, maybe I'm drinking the wrong kind. It's a good table wine, though. It's just easy, yeah, easy to bring out. I feel like my dad likes. Does it break the bank? You really know, eight dollars. Eight dollars. Was... Yeah, there you go. But I don't do the whole. I don't know. I think the first time I went when I was seven, we did the crushing with the feet. But... Not a fan. I always wanted I, to do that. That would be on Reddit if you did that. <laughs> oh yeah, they have smallest <laughs> purple stained toes. <laughs> I have the fattest, smallest feet too. So I'm just like, I don't know what these guys are into. I'm like short, and I, I don't even fit in normal shoes. You have to get like the wide size. So like six W. Yeah, like yes, yeah, no seven W. And then where do you even buy those? At the, Macy's. Yeah, yeah I don't know what store do they have them. Not Amazon. <laughs> Not everywhere it has that though. Because I have I have flat feet too, but oh, they just the sneakers also? just hurt. Yeah, I don't have. Yeah, that. Or they make the, the things for your feet, like the inserts. You know, sole the inserts. Yeah, yeah. Was it Doctor? Sh- what's it? Doctor yeah. Scholes. I've never yeah, worn it. Those Doctor no. Scholes. Yeah, I love having John here. He's like, yeah, he's like our fact checker. He fact checks everything for me. Thank you, John. We're very excited to announce a long-term partnership with Tesoro Gastronomia out from Australia. This guy's got a really, really interesting restaurant. Tesoro has a very interesting story. So they're first-generation Italian-Australians. They're basically us in Australia. Tesoro was created in their parents' and grandparents' honor so that they can pay their legacy forward. 100% of their proceeds goes to people in need, charities, and the arts. Tesoro will be supporting us this year, so you know the content's going to be even better. Bro, and who knows? Maybe at some point we're going to have to take a trip down on that. I was always curious how the Italian Australians made food. It's time we find out. Crispy, crunchy, savory, and sweet. Order what you want on Uber Eats. Listen, guys, from now to the end of the year, December 31st, on the Uber Eats app, you go to Anthony and some Panini shop, and you get a nice $25 off. When you use the code Panini. Got to use the code Panini. Terms apply. See app for details. <laughs> uh, so I want to have a little fun with you. Oh, okay. So your Long Island accent, and I'm just assuming that you're just Long Island. Uh-huh. Right? You, you know, you live in the city now, but it's not as prominent than I would have expected. That's what so many people say. I feel like when I went away to school, I was like, I can't talk like this. People are looking at me. And in Delaware, a lot of Philly people. I'm, that's why I'm saying I don't know how I lasted there. I was so New York. Mm-hmm. First of all, these A bars, lot of gravy people, right? I don't know. Uh, yeah, South Jersey. South yeah. Jersey and Philly people. So they say home, home, found. It's like these weird... Parmesan. I don't know what... what <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah, that's terrible. Yeah, I mean, the closest thing to Italian, I guess, is like South Philly there. Mm-hmm. Which I never really... Went. I went to Philly, but I didn't spend a lot of time in South Philly. So there weren't a lot of Italians there. Um, so I guess I just started to speak more i don't know i wouldn't say more normal because normal to me sounds like what this in, in this room but then yeah. people come to new yeah. york and they're like <laughs> i feel bad you're for you a you new think yorker this is oh my god <laughs> we don't even have bad accents though Anybody no not really room. certain i feel like certain some people things. say i do though no nah. doodle milanese milanese what, what else do you say uh milanese yeah i don't know you said it cool there you said it normal no when i say milanese i don't Wait, know Mil- isn't I don't know, certain things that New Yorkers uh, pronounce or Italians or like Americanized Italians. Sometimes that uh, 
know what people say, like Ming, like yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> que esquifo. You, yeah, that yeah. drives me nuts. Shout out Gujin. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Man, he's like funny that? though. He's really he's funny though. He's been on. Uh, so you don't like that facade, times. like the playing up the Italian American. Like, does that bother you a little bit? The, the Tommy Cutlets thing. Yeah, yeah. How you feel about? that? I think he's super talented, great kid, and it's gonna do so well. My I was talking to my friend who's a sports reporter. She's like, let it sell. Like, yeah. this is great. Yeah. The NFL is gonna make money any way they can. I'm like, I don't know. This guy's gonna throw his name on a jar of sauce. I'm gonna be like, oh, now a million people are gonna buy this sauce. Yeah. yeah. I'm like, you know what? Honestly, it's it, it, just him. not sauce, but whatever it is. Whatever, yeah. you know what? He's you know, super maybe, marketable. Yeah, it is. He's a it handsome is. kid. It's you know, super he's marketable. Tall. I'm, I'm super, just mad you know, I didn't doing think about this. it first. That's probably <laughs> right. Yeah. You know, any any time that like an Italian could do this. You know what? Like, but like, they, like, they don't do have something? an icon like that, I feel like, in the NFL. So, I mean, that was that spoke to a lot of people. Or yeah. any professional sports. I want to say we were kind of a part of that. Yeah? Oh, okay. to say. Because we had our guy Habakkuk Baldonado. He was... An undrafted rookie that played for the Giants, and the he was on. He was on. He was, he was going for a roster spot. If you look, I'll give you some homework. So to before do. the season started, we had him on the podcast. Okay, from Rome, born in Italy, uh, came over to the states to play football. Very successful career at Pitt. Uh, was undrafted. Uh, was with the Giants training camp. He didn't make the final roster, but he was cool with uh, Tommy Cutlets. Oh, okay. And and I know. DeVito, he, he watched the podcast because he would talk to Haba. Uh-huh. And I told Haba, I was like, yo, when you get a sack, because he's a def- defensive lineman, when you get a sack, go like this at the camera. Yeah. I so wait, Rock, are you claiming uh-huh. that you're the reason? I just, I just want to get this. I don't know. He's the reason behind the success. I, I don't know if this was the right <laughs> So wait, are you, are you saying you want 20% of that? No, no, no. I'm, I'm happy for your success, but I want, I feel like there's a little part of that that made it that reason. I don't know. Deep I think, down, I know he saw I that. Agree. You know Italians I mean? are just so happy to see themselves represented, you know. Hell and yeah, hell yeah. Even people that reach out to me and on, I don't know, Instagram and say, oh my gosh, we're so happy to see another Italian on the news. And a couple of vowels on yeah, yeah, we're very yeah. proud people. We are very proud people. And we're also very envious people. But then the you get the time. life story. I have two dogs. I'm from this town. And you just have to think these people watch you, you know, whether it's their bedroom or their living room every day. And this is what they're, you know, they're relating to a uh, small yeah. factoid here. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow, this is cool. Maybe Briella's, you know, from my, my area, my region of Italy. And so if you're from Abruzzo, what's the name mm-hmm. of the town? Cole Pietro is where my grandfather was born. And then San Benedetto in Perils was my grandmother. She was selling a cow. They met. And no it's way. so no crazy. Way. Now, do you remember the... She was selling a cow and that's yeah, how they met? Yeah, and that's how they met. Oh, I love that so story. Wait, so, so she was like selling the cow I don't, to your nonno? Yeah. Kumba. Hey, what was the vaca? And bella vaca. That's exactly how it went. Oh, yeah? my God. What's that song that's big there? Chicharina la teneva, teneva. Get the name, get the name. Yeah, I play it. I play it every day. Oh I play it when gosh. I'm driving. Is that an Abruzzo Tarandelna? Yeah, there I is like not from, it's a tar- tar- no, tar- no, but I think that song is, is that? like from our region, Campania. Yeah, I think it was Campania. You know what's so funny? So they, pay, they play it on Ferragosto, and I'm like, this would be so perfect to interrogate people, you know, the CIA. <laughs> that <laughs> would get it right out of them over and over and over on repeat. <laughs> no, it's like, yeah, those songs, crazy. though, it's so funny, because growing up, my dad, when I would like listen to hip-hop, he would be like, what is this you can't listen to there's too many curses in it. Then, like, you get older, you get a little wiser... You listen to these Tarandellas, and it's like, bro, these guys are talking about like banging this yeah. girl. Like, how <laughs> With nice. the music videos, and there were these little, like, that, 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 skirts. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, <laughs> like a campanola. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. Like, like, yeah. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. It's like, bro, the dirtiest yeah. thing, and you're thinking of an innocent, non, not non at the time, but an innocent mm-hmm. woman literally helping the fields. and. Yeah. yeah, because it's just so easy to sing along to, and it's. <laughs> but it's like it's dirty though. Yeah, so absolutely. To, to picture our grandparents, I go shovel. It's, like, <laughs> it's just funny, you know. All right, my I played in the town. Now. Little kids are dancing, doing the line dancing. What's the one that came out over the summer? I don't know. There are a couple of them. This song. Uh, Piacele, Piace. Uh, who sings it? Mona Amor. Do you know that one by Annalisa? Or? Oh, sing it, sing it. Come on. Yeah. I have to play it on the. Hold on, on my you phone. Play it, play it. All right, hold on. But it's like... Less than 15 seconds. Or else 15, copy, oh, yeah, copyright. copyright. I pick, no, pick I, a cut out if it's an extra. Hold on. Annalise yeah. is really uh, trendy. She's getting huge. Yeah. yeah. All right, hold on. Let me find I like, I like those. I like those texts I'm getting. Like, a couple of weeks ago, people were like, I'm going to circle back in the new year, and everybody's circling back. Okay. 
They turn. Oh, yeah, yeah, you know what? You know what? I, I only listen to the gangsta shit. No, but they turn into soldiers at these festivals. This stuff comes the on. They start dance? line dancing yeah, yeah, like yeah, this. Yeah. And Italians like, <laughs> love the line. I dance. love that. Yeah. Are so good. I'm like, I, I can't get in this in this line. I look like we, an idiot. You're gonna we made that, we made that joke when we had Rocco Hunt on the podcast that he makes the music that like. All of a sudden, they're in the piazza and they like uh, all do the moves together. Yeah. Just like, <laughs> what about uh, like? <laughs> I remember this always growing. I was like, oh, that's a Spanish one. Yeah, they all like. Okay. La vida es una carnaval. And then it's like the whole piazza, like they do the kick. I feel like they don't even listen to like the traditional stuff there anymore, like Caruso or no, no, they don't, they don't. No, they they don't like that stuff anymore. we're the ones holding on to it. Yeah, because us in this room are the ones that hold on to that old style music. Yeah. So shameless plug, growing up Italian playlist on iTunes on Spotify. We have all those songs: the Caruso, the Gijones, all the classics. Amazing. Giovanotti. Over. Yeah, so one of my cousins was here from Italy, and I was playing this playlist. I thought it would impress her. Like, she's like, my kid got to send this to the movies again. <laughs> she's like, nobody listens to this. And it's like, I guess in America, like, if you're like playing Led Zeppelin with somebody, but certain people still do listen to it, but it's like their version. Uh-huh. Like, que se roba and nobody listens yeah. to this shit. It's true. But what are, what's some of your favorite music now? Because I always see you post it on the stories, like... Sweda. Yeah, I mean, it depends. I, I'll listen to, like, the top 50 in Italy. I, I was raised singing. Um, that's, like, a long story in itself. Uh, I sang at Shea Stadium when I was 12. The I National owned, Anthem? Yeah, anthems. And then I put together an EP that I was actually producing here in Greenpoint and then at Quad Studios in Manhattan. But I was young. I was, like, 14. And it's hard to, you know, you want to be a pop star at 14. And the My pressure. daughter's the best. Yeah. <laughs> my mother was See, my manager. Yeah. Like, if, you, if you just, you singing if you just like, did this when you, if you just did this when you sang, yeah. it would have worked. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Listen to my daughter. That's like, it. She pushed and she pushed for, uh, you know, she had all good intentions. But you're, you know, dragging me to American Idol, the voice auditions, and you have a minute 45 seconds to a minute to sing the best thing you've ever sung your whole life. Oh, tough. Yeah. I'm At like, that age? What was, your go-to, what was your go-to song? Like, did you do a cover song or an I original? F- no, no, no. I, f- I mean, I, I co-wrote a couple of songs, but I feel like I would go, I liked pop, jazz, uh, old school, like uh, Peggy Lee Fever, Alicia Keys, mm-hmm. If I Ain't Got You, Fallen. Uh, gosh, I like Whitney Houston, Donna Summer. I was raised on like yeah. that Studio 54 music, you know, 103.5 KTU. Mm-hmm. Um, Freestyle? A lot of freestyle, yeah. But my brother's generation is weird because... How old's your brother? He's 20. He'll be 21 okay. in April. So he's Gen Z. Yeah, so he'll have all... How's he Gen Z? The Gen Z's the... We're millennials. Yeah, I, I don't know what Gen age Z. it cuts off. Like Gen 20. Z starts, I believe, after 96. Yeah, yeah. He's got all these rappers I've never heard of. Sleepy Hollow. I'm yeah, like, yeah. yeah. I'm with, I, to that too. I always thought sure Gen Z was just an insult. No, but <laughs> no. he like, listens to that, but then he knows so much of this old school Italian that he listens to. I mean, more than I do. Good and I'm him. like, it's such a weird mix. Like you're saying hip hop, you know, back in the day, like, why are you listening to this? You, you should be proud of your heritage. And it all kind of blends together now. You can listen to anything and... Molded I think that's why I'm so. Normal. I don't know. <laughs> I think that's why I'm so intrigued by the artists from Italy because they identify with the kids like us. Yeah, that, like well, listen. Sveta, all his yeah. music is. I mean, the, the rap has become so big in every uh, whatever nationality, country, or what I'm trying to say. So, when you were singing growing up, when when did this like your career path start? happening news? yeah or is it something that in school you'd figure like maybe i could do that or it's weird because i went to california when i was like 17 and i went to see a producer out there and he said listen we can you can sing and you can write songs and we can bang out songs but you're gonna put a lot of money and a lot of time into this and you can you know you're either not everyone makes it basically which is obviously so true he's like you, know, you should you could go to college and you can pursue something and still sing. And I was like, realistically, maybe I should do that. So he's like, do not major in music performance. I'm like, well, I don't understand. They get that degree. They wave it around. Like, can't do anything with it at all. You can sing, but can't do anything with that sort of degree. So I didn't know what I wanted to do at that point. So I was like, I think I want to go into communications. It's overarching enough where I can like pick kind of anything and just see where I end up. And we've talked about my anxiety. I've had bad anxiety since I was a kid. When I was seven years old, I passed out of, in first grade when the, 
a teacher was reading a book about germs. And ever since then, I've been like a hypochondriac. A lot of people wow. don't know that. Yeah. Uh, and that's, that, that could affect you. We're talking about too. like staph infection before. I'm like, all right, breathe real. Like I, I oh, get creeped out by that yeah, stuff. Yeah. So that like filters in with a lot of the news reporting too. But anyway, I was like, the anxiety is bad. The only way I'm going to get over this is to leave my mother's house. Because... Do you think that's what it was? Being home? More so, it was my safe place. And I was like, I can't. I became agoraphobic. I didn't gotcha, want to leave. Gotcha, and I was gotcha, like, my gotcha. mom's cooking for me. I can, if I get nervous or I feel like I'm going to pass out or I get weak, I can go hide in my bed. It's like, I need to get out of here and experience the world on my own, whether it's, you know, down the block or in whatever, Delaware, wherever I went, I did. And sure enough, I got pink eye in college. I fainted several times in college. I got the flu in college. And guess what? I survived. Yeah. So I learned that. And then you have a, you know... Germs episode. are good for you sometimes. Yeah, well, bacteria is good for you. Now I can talk about it. I've gotten you better. Could fight, you could fight it, you know? Yeah, well, bacteria is supposed to live in you. Yeah. Some of it. Yeah, we all have yeah. bacteria. Like all COVID, that was we like... We do? Yeah. Yeah. Of course, bro. They live in us. But um, I started down there. I joined an acapella group, which wow. was like where I kept... That's it. always been my dream. Yeah? Oh, oh, oh. For the longest time. The longest oh, yeah, there you go. I was going to try to harmonize, but I didn't know where you were going. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> <laughs> Me and my <laughs> friends. <laughs> Wait, can you, <laughs> say, can you sing, sing still? I mean, yeah. Like, can you give us a quick, like, you know? I don't know what you mean. God bless us. Oh. Wow. <laughs> Is anybody's birthday? I don't know. If it's birthday coming up, we could do a happy birthday. I'm trying to do a song everybody knows. Ah. Uh, I think it should be the opposite of a song nobody knows. Nobody knows? Yeah, like... A tarandella, like the tarandella you're doing is fire. Well, I, I, yeah, I can't do like Caruso. I haven't, or something like that. I haven't vocalized. I go through like, uh, like again, do like I, a good Kelly Clarkson. Kelly Clarkson. Nah. <laughs> no. I love Kelly Clarkson. I feel uh, like she could do a good or, Cardi B. Cardi B. Oh, Cardi B. That's like rapping. I have to yeah. go into rapping. That's not going to show her vocals at all. <laughs> but she could do it in like a melodic way. Uh, I don't know. We could do it. You know that. <sighs> Never know how much I loved you. Never know how much I care. But when you put your arms around me, I get a fever that is so hard to bear. You give me fever. There you go, do your little. In the morning, I forgot the rest of the words. Ba -ba 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 -ba. I don't know. Oh, little, she told, little, 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 little she knows she's about to get signed with John McCormick. <laughs> John right now is like, that's the so perfect great. song. See, I'll, I'll get like nervous to belt right now, but I'm like, I could do something in like a lower range. John, John, John's about to like uh, say like, like oh, listen, we're like doing some Christmas cover songs. <laughs> if, if you want to sing uh, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. <laughs> it's hurt. funny though, because you're your own worst critic, right? And it started out with like doing... I think I didn't get comfortable going live on TV until I started doing it every day. Like, I had some major mess-ups. Mm. And guess what? And there's no Everyone's editing watching. in that, right? No. Live. I remember one time I started mornings and there was nothing in the prompter. So in the studio, you have a prompter. When you're out in the field, you don't. So you're kind of just, you're making, you know, making it up, improvising as you go along, using whatever facts you know to come up with some kind of script in your head. When you're in the studio, it's right in front of you. So one day, the prompter goes down, and I'm like, there's nothing there. And the anchors are like, well, you got to keep going. I'm like, I froze. I'm like, now you learn from your ass being put on fire. So we're just going to go know? to a quick commercial break. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> yeah, they just cut yeah. to the story. And I'm like, I feel like the same thing has to happen with singing again because I crack on a note. And I'm like, oh, my God, everyone heard it. That was like literally the worst. So I started posting more on my Instagram again, you know, with a, my, one of my coworkers is a pianist and um, one of my friends who sings and plays at some of the bars and the, mm -hmm. the piano bars. I'm like... I start singing with them again and getting back into my comfort zone. If you start doing it every day, you become more confident again. Absolutely, uh, that's true. No, I, honestly, I love I love the story, and I know you're a real Italian person, so that's why I wanted to do this uh, podcast with you. And I do want to say because we spoke about interviews and podcasting. Mm -hmm. For me, what we do is an interviewing. It's like a regular conversation. I never want to be considered like an interviewer. Interview. Yeah, it's yeah. like funny I because I was telling you guys I'm always on the other side of exactly. the camera. So now I'm in the hot seat and I'm like, oh, I'm kind of, I'm 
You're just How do you feel right now? I'm better now. How's the I'm production better. here? This is, this is great. You this like is it? like, I Does mean, it come I'm, up to your standards. You it's know? like I'm in the studio. Okay. Yeah. This yeah. is Good Morning Italian it's America. Not, yeah, it's not rehearsed. <laughs> it's not like, okay, I have a script, I have a story, I have the. You you, I sent you the whole script before. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it was in your email. You didn't see it. I probably didn't because I just kept not looking at yeah. it. Like, I got to go tomorrow. You, 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 didn't get, you didn't get to it. You're still in January I'm of 2023. Yeah, I'm still deleting my old emails. But. Maybe a couple last questions before we go. I have one. Right, it's been an hour you already. Look how much fun we're oh, having, yeah. everyone. Forty-nine minutes. Oh yeah, wow! You still have that song playing. Oh right shoot! There. Not that bad. There you go. All right. So no, so I wanted to. Even if you don't think you have a really good one, I want you to channel your Long Island accent. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna give you a situation. Okay. You got to do the best you possibly can. She got to so, play it up, is what so you're saying. So <laughs> you're calling your aunt because your other aunt was talking shit at Christmas dinner. Oh, no. Give me a conversation. A conversation? You got to be the ant. I, I might do it first for her, and then right. I'll give her a little inspiration. Yeah. For y'all, not for nothing. <laughs> I don't like that you brought the wrong roasted peppers. You, you know, you know, we like the supremo Italiano ones. <laughs> so, I, I feel like my aunt's already. You're not supposed like to be this. laughing. This is serious. <laughs> All right. Uh, next time. Next time. Go to Uncle Giuseppe's. Uncle Giuseppe. Oh, Uncle Giuseppe's. That's how my mother would say it. <laughs> Yo, I, heard, I hate Listen, the Giuseppe. Listen, I don't even, I don't Giuseppe. even, do I, do I, can I curse? I don't yeah, know. Yeah, like, yeah. like, I want that Long Island that strong. That Long Island. I don't even, mother, I don't shop for peppers. I don't know. My mother does it all. I sit home, I sleep, I go to work. I work I overnight. The mice. <laughs> <laughs> I work all night long and I come home. I don't do any of this stuff. I don't do the shopping. I don't do the cooking. I'll cook when I'm at home. But <laughs> I'm a city girl. I do the Uber Eats. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Why don't you get someone else to bring it? What's the problem? <laughs> She killed it. That's good. Cool. She didn't even act. That's real. What's that's the problem? See that? I wouldn't say. What's the problem? I'm like, I gotta catch myself. What's I gotta problem? catch myself. Like, I it depends. Depends how it comes out. Yeah. What makes you proud to be Italian American? Like, why do you think being Italian American? That's such a good question. I feel like I throw this on people when I interview them about things, or it's like, you know, what do you take from this, or mm -hmm. what do you get from that? I just feel like it's it's. I just remember thinking back to our holidays are, of course, different now, but the culture and the amount of people who would come to Christmas Eve, that was like my favorite holiday. Not just the food, but the laughs and the fact that we're all so dysfunctional. We're up till three o'clock in the morning listening to God knows what in the living room. Mm -hmm. My parents would bring people over from all, my dad would bring people from work. My mom would bring people from, you know, uh, she met down the block at the nail salon. We're just that type of people. I feel like most people, Italians are, accepting although stubborn mm -hmm. and uh that's a special thing in itself uh, the food obviously is another thing because anywhere you look italian food is number Did one your family have like snacks for when guests came over specifically i mean the whole christmas uh panettone pandoro debate i like pandoro better i don't know uh did you ever regift panettone because you like pandoro better i mean yes yeah, there's probably one under my bed right now <laughs> yeah <laughs> I gotta Next to the chicken cutlets. Yeah, 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 yeah. Chicken cutlets are under my brother's bed. Then we wonder why there's mice running <laughs> yeah. around. We got no, that one's, under the bed. that one's wrapped. It's still in the box. Yeah. You think they can't get in there? <laughs> they can probably. If they, yeah, right? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me or yeah, what? Yeah, but now I'm, I vacuum like crazy. I don't leave anything, anything out in the kitchen. Everything goes in its place. And I was always cluttery. Like my mom and my sister are type A. I you reclose the bags? Like you have a nice clips? Oh, I gotta get those. No, I just, yeah. I mean, wait, that's a key. Type A. Type A person. You never heard type A, type B. No. Type A is very organized, on yeah. time, uh, neat. I'm like, I'm almost like late to the fact where if you tell me to get there any earlier, I'll spite you and be more late. Uh. <laughs> I can't like, I. It's just my schedule is chaotic, so I kind of just, you know, all right, I'll be there when I want to get there or something like that. You know, it's like if we want Brielle to go out. You got to call her at four or five o'clock and say the reservations for six. So I'll show up at eight. Yeah. Delaware was the that's, worst. That's not cool. No, though. it's not. It's horrible. It's a horrible attribute. We need I'm, to fix things like that. Because it's, you know, time So my time's challenge precious. to you 2024. This is my Show resolution. up on time. I'm getting better. It's like I'm only running like 10, 10, 15 minutes behind today. Yeah, it wasn't bad. It was good. No, today was fine. Yeah. I don't mean in today's case. I mean like in general. I mean, now, because now it is work, annoying. At work, I won't do that. But no, of course. In my personal I would hope life, not. <laughs> But then again, here, I don't like when people do it to me. So then I have to think of being on the other side of the, yeah. the debate here. Mm -hmm. But when things closed, like, yeah, in Delaware, last call was one in the morning. It's like, screw this. I'm getting there at midnight. I'll take five shots and go home. I don't care. Just wasn't ready to go out yet at yeah. seven, eight o'clock. It was weird for me. I was, you know, raised in my, 
I don't know, grandmother's living room in, in Brooklyn with my uncle chain smoking cigarettes, <laughs> and like stay out till whatever hours. Mm-hmm. So I was never a morning person. This is all different. This is all. So yeah. I was just kind of raised with my dad's side of the family being not type A people, type B. Everything's on your own time frame. We'll get there when we get there. <laughs> that I'm not anxious about. You start talking about somebody, uh, their arm fell off from a disease, then I start panicking. Yeah. Weird. Could be worse. Yeah. Could always be worse. It could. You have to think about that. Yeah. And it's like my mom's always like, oh, Briella, you know, I just have a lot going on right now and my head's hurting and I have to go to the grocery store. I'm like, are you alive and is everyone healthy? Yeah. Think That's about that. Yeah. 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 You, need the, you need that reality check real quick. Mm-hmm. Like, all right, things could be way worse. But an, uh, another question I have mm-hmm. for you was somebody who's looking to go into your field and doing what you're doing, like what's the best advice that you could give them? A lot of people ask that. I'll get messages on like LinkedIn all the time. Hey, people from across the country, really, I don't know how they come across me, and I'm almost, uh, you yeah. know, you feel modest. It's like, I, and yeah. nobody did that. You guys that. are big time. So. No, but nobody did that for me. I worked on my own, and I remember um, sending, you know, my bosses emails, emails, nobody would answer, and eventually keep harassing them. They do. So be persistent. That's one thing. But really, I'll say college, until the later years of college, my junior, senior year, I got out there with the camera, all these Mm -hmm. prerequisite classes, like communication studies and psychology. I'm like, why am I taking this? This is a waste. First two years, waste. Mm -hmm. When they gave me a camera and said, get this in on a deadline, that's when you learn. Because now I work on deadline, and it's more of a real-life scenario. Mm -hmm. So do more things like that, you know, take it into your own hands, get equipment, start shooting, depending on what you want to do in the, in the field, if you want to be behind the scenes, if you want to report, mm-hmm. practice talking in front of the camera, interacting with people, or making up a scenario and writing lines for it, mm-hmm. and doing that, and then networking, that's really big. You know what I love about social media nowadays is that you could kind of push your own envelope, like yeah. what she's saying, yeah. like you could put out that kind of content and make it your own way. Yeah. Like you could report your own news. There are people, a lot of newscasters that I follow, and they they go viral. Basically, here's how I do my, my makeup in ten minutes in the car, and it's crazy because yeah, we all do this. Yeah. I'm driving, I'm like, I have to be on air. It's four fifty. I have to be on at five o two. I have no face on. I'm not putting these things on, obviously, <laughs> but I'm putting a face on in in eight minutes, putting a wire in my ear, and then getting ready to go out and talk about whatever I have to talk about. So it, it's it practice is key too, though. That's you know, practice makes perfect. That's the oldest adage in the book. Yeah. Well, one more question. Mm-hmm. I think this is for the, the Reddit family. Oh, God. <laughs> What's one thing people don't know about you that you think they would like? But, I mean, the singing thing is cool. I don't know. I like weather. I have a... Is this what I... I never went back to school for meteorology. Hurricane? It's a, now, if it were filled oh, yeah. in, it would be a hurricane. But without being filled in, it's a tropical storm, which is... When does a tropical storm turn into a hurricane? 74 miles per hour. Random size. I used to like sit in front of the TV and watch uh, storm stories and watch the Weather Channel meteorologist on like repeat. Wow. But I don't know how to, you know. So what what, what is that meaning for you that you're like a I'm, storm walking in the room or? I don't know. I just really <laughs> liked it. So I got all these tattoos, like five tattoos when I was between 18 and 20. Uh-huh. And I'm like, why did I get these? But really, all, all five, you feel like that? No, I think they all have a meaning. I would oh, never okay. get rid of them. Good, now, yeah. my sister and my brother, my brother, of course, the first thing he got is was Saint, the, Saint was Anthony? the big Italian flag on the arm. He's got <laughs> I like that. He's like, I don't want this thing. I look like a fucking loser. <laughs> and that's the, so funny. the whole, like, uh, riposo and pace. Now, that's nice, you know, for my grandparents. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. the big, you know, the Italian flag. I'm like, well, why didn't you think about this and not go to God knows who when you were 15 to get a tattoo? Wait. My sister, too. Dream catcher on her back. She's almost through the last removal session. Why are you guys getting these tattoos? At least mine, you know, I have two of them that are music related. One of them is like my Sagittarius arrow. The only sign I know anything about is my own. I'm not like an astrology. Okay, yeah. That's how I feel you too know, with like Gemini. Yeah, so. yeah, I'm like, I know who I am. I know like my sister and my mom, that's it. And then uh, one from my grandfather, uh, sempre in a, in a heart, yeah. in my rib. That was really painful. What was your grandfather's name? Uh, Giovanni. Giovanni. And yeah, that's, that's why. why brother's name. Yeah, so my mom had the two girls, and my dad was like, absolutely not, no more. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> ten I love ten that. years later. Wow, he hit the shot of a lifetime. Man. I know. And they like, my mom said, what if we have another girl? He said, I don't know, then it's going to be three girls. But before my great grandmother passed away, she gave my mom a necklace that she had, I think because she had her, my aunt's son, a grandson, and two granddaughters, me and my sister. She gave it to my mom. She had emphysema. She was, you know, dying. Mm-hmm. And my mom said, I got two girls. I don't have a boy. She said, what do you mean? You're wow. going to have a son. Wow. She's mm-hmm. like, this is crazy. I'm not even pregnant. Sure yeah. enough, like a 
think uh, once my grandma died, I think it was the next year my wow. mom conceived and was able to board. That's amazing. Crazy. And why are you Briella? Uh, so my, I think my mother's side, her, one of her great grandparents was Nicoletta. So they named me Nicoletta, and then in the hospital they're singing Happy Birthday, you know, Bon Compleano, Nicola. When, when you were born? When I was born at LIJ, mm -hmm. all of a sudden, for whatever reason, my mom had this like calling. Ah, we got to change the name. Well, we already was, named was, her. Was it on the birth certificate? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I think so. Unless maybe it didn't make it to the birth certificate yet. I don't know how long. Maybe it was within like the first hour. They ripped or two. up the first one. Maybe they're like, <laughs> "All right, we're doing it again." Run that and through the said, shredder. Well, yeah, sometimes that happens. I don't want happens. people to call her. I don't want Gabriella because people will call her Gabby. She didn't like Gabby. Yeah. I don't know. So she said, "I'm just gonna chop off the ga and make it." I like Briella. Briella. It's a, it's a very nice now name. there are Briellas out there. There are a lot of them. And like I liked kind of when I was the only Briella. I was flying solo. I like being the only Sabina. Yeah, I was. Uh, Rocco, I feel there's I more feel like Sabinos in Italy. Yeah, 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 over there, yeah. yeah. It's a very Italian name. So I think next time, we the way we should leave off is you got to have your mom on you the next have my, one. you got to have yeah, the family. We'll we'll my mom comes, my brother's going to come. In a couple come. months. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we'll have a whole... By then, you'll, you'll eat I'll some. You've this watching party. Okay, yeah. Oh, I'm excited. Oh. <laughs> I was like, how are we going to talk for an hour? But it went by. I feel like... Come on, you don't have to worry about that with us. Yeah, yeah. it was good. Had a good time. Thank you so much good, for coming thank here. You. Hopefully, traffic on the way back is easier. I'm gonna hop on the subway. I think. I'm gonna, no way. Are yeah, you? Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's That's easier. the most civilian thing you could do. I know. Civilian, but I can't. <laughs> I get more like anxious in these cars. These guys slamming their feet at lights. I have to open the window. Yeah. I'm like yeah, an old yeah. lady. Yeah. Thirty going on like eighty. <laughs> That's what it is. I'm uh, Nona Briella. Nona Briella. <laughs> guys, thank you. Make sure to hit the subscribe button, comment, like, share. How you doing? Take care, brush your hair. Take it easy. Take care, brush your hair. I like that. Yeah, I just feel cool.